Looking for magic cards or magic carps? On the new CFB Marketplace you can buy sealed products and singles directly from local game stores. Support the channel by using the referral code LVD at checkout. Hello and welcome to another standard game to video. Today we're taking a look at a Naya tokens deck as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, featuring four copies of a Rebel Rousing, a 5 mana enchantment with Hideaway 5, meaning when it enters the battlefield we look at the top 5 cards of our library, exiling one of them face down, and then when we meet this card's requirement we can play the exiled card for free. In this case, whenever we attack with one or more creatures, we create that many 1 1 green and white citizen creature tokens, and then if we control 10 or more creatures total, we may play the exiled card without paying its mana cost. So let's say we control 5 tokens, we attack with all of them, we get 5 more tokens from Rebel Rousing, so we temporarily control 10 creatures, which is enough to satisfy the hideaway requirement, and then before blockers are declared, before damage, we get to play that card for free. And what better card to play for free at that point than a Jetmir Nexus of Revels, because if we meet the hideaway requirement, we also get all 3 abilities on Jetmir, giving our team plus 3 plus 0, Vigilance, Trample, and double strike, which is often enough to end the game on the spot. So great combo with arousing. Then taking a look at the rest of our deck, we do have quite a few enchantments, so that's why we're playing four copies of a Jukai Naturalist, giving our enchantments a one mana discount on a 2 2 lifelinker. We're also playing four copies of a Black Market Tycoon, can tap to create a treasure token to help us ramp. It does come with a bit of a drawback at the beginning of our upkeep. The Tycoon deals two damage to us for each treasure we control, so we want to make sure to be spending those treasure tokens. And the great synergy with Tycoon is Stimulus Package, a four mana enchantment creating two treasure tokens when it enters the battlefield, and we can sacrifice a treasure at any point to create a 1 1 green and white citizen creature token, so we can sacrifice any excess treasures that we could use for mana and turn them into citizen tokens. Can also activate this end of turn so it plays around any sweeper effects which is quite nice and then it sets up our rabble rousing as well. And then a great synergy with Stimulus Package is with Gala Greeters, 2 mana 1-1 one, one with Alliance saying whenever another creature enters the battlefield under our control, we can choose one mode that hasn't been chosen yet this turn between putting a plus 1 counter on it, making a tapped treasure token and gaining 2 life which is something pretty special since most decks cannot use the greeters during the opponent's turn. So here, as long as we have a treasure token, even if it's tapped, we can sacrifice it to stimulus package, make a 1-1 citizen, trigger gala greeters, make another treasure token, turn it into another citizen, and in turn trigger greeters, putting a plus one counter on it, or gaining two life. Then at 3 mana we have the full playset of Wedding Announcement, can make some 1-1 tokens to set up our Rival Rousing, can also draw cards if we've attacked with enough creatures, eventually turning into an Anthem giving our team plus 1 plus 1. Adlin also great in any tokens deck, becoming larger with the more creatures we control, making 1-1 tokens that are tapped and attacking if we attack as well. Then two copies of Fable of the Mirror Breaker as an enchantment that gives us some card selection with the second chapter. Can also make treasure tokens with the Goblin Shaman that synergize with Stimulus Package. And eventually Reflection of Kiki Jiki, also a nice way to trigger Gala Greeters by copying one of our creatures. Then at four mana besides Package and Jetmir, we also have three copies of Showdown of the Skulls as another enchantment to go with Naturalist. Provides a bit of card advantage which is necessary in the more grindy matchups, especially when facing sweeper effects. And then besides Rebel Rousing, we also have three copies of Amirius Call, which can be played as a land or a powerful 7-mana sorcery, creating a pair of angel tokens and making the rest of our team indestructible. So another nice card to potentially play for free with Rebel Rousing. And then our mana base includes our Jet Mirror's Garden as a nice trial land. Since we don't have any 1-drops we need to play on turn 1, so it's nice to play a tap land that fixes our colors. Then we've got two of each of the dual lands from Innistrad, and then all 12 pathways and a few basics in case of Field of Ruin, a Forest and a Plains. Kind of a necessary evil, otherwise I would just play the single Forest. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the draw with a Keepable Hand. Turn 2, probably gonna go for Tycoon. And then we have a couple options on 3. So, could play a Tapped Veil. Up against Mono Green with turn 2 pack leader. Okay, let's get our Tycoon in play. Could have also gone Gala Greeters if I played Emirius Call untapped into Adelin, which is also a fine sequence. But I don't expect a 2 2 creature to have a profitable attack against Mono Green, so I'd rather just make more mana here. 
Another pack leader is scary. And Ascendant pack leader as well. Well, we've got our work cut out for us here. Have four mana at our disposal. Probably just gonna play Fable of the Mirror Breaker. And then maybe a treasure end of turn. And we could try and double block a pack leader. Oddity grows Ascendant pack leader. A werewolf pack leader gets to draw a card. So we're taking 10. Okay. What do we want to discard? A mirror's call, probably. Although it could be a reasonable play to stabilize. Could also see getting rid of Adlin since we're not in a position to attack anytime soon. Although I do want to make treasure with my Goblin Shaman token. Do have Stimulus Package to combine with Gala Greeters, which is quite powerful. So we do have options. So play a land, make another treasure, go up to 6 mana. And then could go Gala Greeters Stimulus Package, gain some life back. Question is if we want Emirius Call next turn or Adlin. Yeah, I think I actually keep Emirius Call, ditch Adlin. And then Gala Greeters attack. Play Stimulus Package. Making tokens now. Making a treasure. Gaining some life. And then I think I'll just pass. Bone moves to combat. Pack leader draws. And I get to stimulus package again. We want to gain life and then I could double block Ascendant Pack Leader if I'd like, which is probably reasonable. And then make sure we gain some life here. Uh -huh, opponent with a Boseju and response. Well, we still get to trigger Gala Greeters once. And I guess I don't need to gain life necessarily, since your opponent cannot pump pack leader anymore. So might as well make a treasure, that way I can play my Emirius Call next turn. Another pack leader. Okay. This could gain some more life. Although I guess we get to choose all three modes here. And... Don't have the mana for another Gala Greeters, just have to Mirius Call. And we'll put some counters on it. Make a treasure. Could attack to make another treasure, but I think I'd rather have the extra blocker back. And then we could still use a good top deck, might end up cycling my garden. Troll joins the fun. Opponent passes and a backup stimulus package, okay. So now we get to truly combo off. Make treasure. Make more treasure. Make a token. Gain some life, make more treasure. Plus one counter, life. And we should probably get the extra counter on the Gala Creatures once again. And pass it back. I think it's okay to keep Garden to cycle. And then I think we also stay back with our Angels. 
Can activate Reflection of Kiki Jiki in the opponent's end step. Opponent attacks with the team. Gets to draw. Okay, so... Gala Greeters can grow up to a 4-4 and a 3-3 respectively. So if I put the bigger one in front of Pack Leader, we can force the opponent to pump. And that's most of their turn gone. Can activate Reflection to copy an Angel. Which can also block. So we'll do that. Galag Reaper's triggers can make treasure as well. And then might as well make some tokens before blocking in case we need them. And our opponent concedes stimulus package plus Galag Reaper's an awesome combo. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play and our hand seems pretty decent. Tycoon making some extra mana. Greeters will trigger off announcement a few times. And then we would love to find maybe a rabble rousing to go over the top. Up against the red deck. And turn one unlucky witness, so a sacrifice deck. I think we want to Tycoon before greeters. Make sure we get those treasures flowing. And then I can probably announcement next turn. And that will guarantee at least one trigger of greeters once we play it. Harvester can take out one of our key creatures. Fables, not bad either. And then Harvester might take out our Shaman token and wait on announcements. Otherwise they might take out our Tycoon, but we get to make a treasure token anyway. So don't actually mind playing the announcement first. Next turn I'll have 5 mana if we make a treasure end of turn, which is still enough for Fable plus Greeters. So we'll try this. So you could see Obnixilis, which is something we'll want to pressure, although we can eventually go over the top if we go wide enough with our tokens, assuming there's no Meat Hook Massacre in our future. Opponent does take out Tycoon, but not before we make a treasure. And next turn the plan is Greeters into Fable, making a treasure token. Opponent hanging on to two mana. Could be a deadly dispute, perhaps. And then we can maybe discard our lands with our second chapter. Not really interested in attacking with my token. So we'll just pass it back. And most likely see a deadly dispute. Exiling another dispute and eaten alive. Which is probably going to take out our greeters. So maybe I'm better off gaining two as opposed to putting a plus one counter on it. And then we would love to pick up a Rabble Rousing next turn, as we'll have the mana to cast it with our treasure. Get a nice board presence going and uh, announcement close to pumping up our team as well. Jet Mirror would also be a reasonable draw, although Red Black has ample answers for it. It's going to be an underdog. Okay. Deciding which creature to kill. And it's going to be the Gala Creatures, so glad we gained two life.
Okay, let's get rid of some lands and probably hang on to the cycling land in case we flood out. Perfect, there's our rabble rousing. Attack with the team. And find another announcement. Not the best, not the worst. Still gonna hang on to Jetmere's Garden, I think. We'll draw off announcement end of turn, but still have plenty of mana to work with. Witness chumps. So now something like a Meat Hook Massacre could be painful. And another deadly dispute, so that's the third one we've seen this game. Finds Oni Cult Anvil. Yeah, I would say Massacre is pretty likely to be in the opponent's deck. Picked up another garden. So they probably wipe the board here. But uh, kind of confused why they didn't play the mountain from exile, because they wouldn't be able to play anvil if they massacre for three. So maybe they don't have massacre? No, they do. So just giving up some value here. Okay. Start by cycling garden. And then we can still play our tycoon if needed. Opponent might have a voltage surge for reflection. Yep. So as the dust settles, it's mainly this underdog I'm worried about, but ooh, showdown is quite the draw. So that'll give us a nice boosting card advantage. Harvester can kill a creature next turn. And there's Opnixilis at long last. <laughs> Do have quite a bit of life to spare. My goons will make quick work of you. So I'm okay taking two. And another two from Tycoon, as opposed to Cycling Garden, sacking the treasure. Which is also an option. So I'll play Showdown. And not the best set of draws, but can play a Gala Greeters attack, which will trigger the Gala Greeters immediately. And go after Obnixilus, I suppose. Can take out a lower loyalty one. And make another tapped treasure. Or do we want a plus one counter? Ah, eh, treasure seems fine. Alright, Opnixel is down. Pona not attempting to rescue with a devil token. Synthesizer for card draw. Finds a land. There is a creature land to potentially worry about in the future. But that's not what the game is about right now. Could see Underdog blitzed. Opponent has a lot of life to spare between Massacre and Obnixilus gaining life. So it is a steady source of card advantage. Next turn I'm probably cycling Garden before I take damage off my treasures. Epicure puts us to 16. So no Underdog this turn. It's going to be another Obnixilus, fair enough. Probably why they were okay with letting the legendary Obnixilus go to the graveyard. So that's going to drain us some more. But it looks like we'll get to keep our jet mirror around for a while. So let's cycle using treasure. Is my entertainment. Would love another rabble rousing of the top. Lots of powerful top decks available. 
Adlin being one of them. Take our draw. Another Greeters, okay. So this turn, Greeters plus Jackmere. Counter on, I guess the Citizen's fine. Can make treasure or gain life, might be more important at this point. And counter on Greeters. Plus one counter. So we can send one each at Obnixilis. And once we trigger Rebel Rousing, Jetmir is gonna give our team Trample as well. So we should be guaranteed to take them all out. Trigger Rebel Rousing, make a bunch of tokens. We'll get to trigger our Gala Greeter some more, so it doesn't die to the two damage from the Devils. And our opponent explodes, awesome. So yeah, taking out Omnixilis, and now we're pretty far ahead on board. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a hand that's missing a two drop, but still showing some promise. And then wanna get a green land in play, so we can still play all our two drops. Turn one Shambling Gas, so black sacrifice deck. And uh, sure, I'll play my tap land. Turn three Fable. And then maybe Stimulus Package. Can make some treasures, turn them into tokens for Rabble Rousing. And then not really interested in Adlin here when we can make tokens right away. Opponent might have a Vanishing Verse as well. It's a Deadly Dispute instead. It's opponents with two treasures. Can play a 5-drop here on turn 3. It's gonna be another Shambling Ghast. And then probably just gonna attack, make treasure, play Stimulus Package and pass. And what do we want to discard? Maybe Adeline, since lines up poorly against Vanishing Verse. Although I guess Rabble Rousing is also not the best there. Yeah, I think we still let go of Adlin. And probably want both copies of Rabble Rousing. Or maybe it's too ambitious if the opponent has a couple sweepers like Meathook Massacre to get it going. And I should just discard one. Even though I really want to see it in action. Showdown's perfect. Okay, so we'll attack. Opponent might be thinking we didn't have double white for Adlin, who knows. Fine with the trade. It's gonna be another dispute instead. At least with Stimulus Package we can make our Citizen Tokens end of turn to dodge any Sorcery Speed Sweepers. And then, best case scenario, next turn make a whole bunch of tokens with Rabble Rousing. Not gonna be quite enough to Enable Hideaway, but we're getting close. Opponent's got a Binding, can destroy Stimulus Package. Goes for Fable instead, that's fine. Still four mana and treasures available. And an Eye Twitch. So our opponent is playing Abzon, green and white splashed. Yeah, let's make some tokens and hope there's no Vanishing Verse. If it doesn't seem like it, wedding announcement's nice too. But we want to arouse the rabble. And wow, hideaway finding five lands. That's painful. So, probably gonna see a sweeper in our near future. But at least we still have double showdown to refuel. Opponent gets a mascot exhibition. Not that concerning. And it's gonna be a Meathook Massacre for three, just to be safe on their part. 
opponent gains a ton of life. And then we can make another token end of turn. So we'll go with showdown here. And might want to play an untap land. So we can greeters attack, trigger greeters, make another treasure. And then we've got the greeters stimulus package combo. So we'll pass. Topiary Stomper for ramp. Fair enough. Can already attack and block. And the Midnight Sky. Okay. End of turn. Sack a treasure, make a citizen, make another treasure, and make another citizen. And we'll put a plus one counter on the greeters. Okay, next up, naturalists. Plus one counter on greeters. Make a treasure. Can play another rabble rousing. Plus one counter on greeters. And this time find a Mirios Call, that's a lot more exciting. So we'll get to make the team indestructible here. So that's great. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and attack with the team. Free a Mirios Call, one to Angels. And another plus one counter. And some life. And then we get another counter as well. And a free land. Let's not forget. Okay, so your opponent will need another sweeper here. Take some damage. And I guess we've already played land from hideaway. So gardens goes away. Maybe should have played the uh, Gardens and declined to use the Hideaway. So there's Mascot Exhibition. And end of turn we can do our Song and Dance with Stimulus Package once again. Make a treasure. Rabble Rousing is pretty good in multiples. So nice to see it in action here. But I'm terrified of another Meat Hook Massacre. So, showdown. Let's see if we can find Jetmir to put our opponent out of their misery. And there he is. Speak of the devil. Although I guess it's technically a cat demon and not a devil. So, sure, play Jetmir. Hope there's no instant speed removal. And someone in the comments can do the math here, but uh, opponent seems very dead. Okay, we're on the draw with a fine hand. Greeters into announcements. Facing a white deck. Black Whites and a Valkyrie, so Angels. Angels can be tough. On the bright side, they don't have a ton of interaction most of the time, so we could potentially go over the top by assembling our synergies. Jet Mirror, definitely an important part, although don't really want to draw two in our opening hand. Do they have a Valkyrie? They don't. So, can attack, play Wedding Announcements. And we'll make a treasure. Put 
Opponent's got a Vanishing Verse, unfortunately. Legion Angel finds another copy. So could play Jetmir over Tycoon, that's probably fine. And we'll make treasure. Lisa, another big flying threat. Take seven. And um, yeah, we're looking pretty dead here. Can rabble rousing, but it's not going to be close to giving us a free spell with Hideaway. And uh, yeah, we don't even have any amazing attacks. I guess I can gain life, but we know about Angel, which will. Uh, Pump the Valkyrie, so it'll have enough to kill us, even if we gain two. So, yeah, we're dead. Possible we should have gained two life last turn with the Greeters, but probably doesn't make a huge difference. Stimulus Package would have been awesome. Emirius Call a nice payoff. I guess we can see if they want to trade here. And we'll gain some life. Opponent takes it. And as long as they play their Angel, we're dead. Linvala for good measure. And that's 12 exactly. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Our hands could be okay if we pick up a couple lanes, so I'll try it. Turn one synthesizer. So sacrifice deck. Voltage surge goes to waste. Typically don't see synthesizer turn one very often. Smelter can make hasty three ones. And we'll play out our Gala Greeters into maybe Adelin next turn. If we can set up a profitable attack. Anvil, a good combo with the Smelter as well. Let's see if Synthesizer finds a land. It does not. Another Smelter. So not getting the most out of the Synthesizer. So we get to play Adelin. And uh, trigger Gala Greeters twice. Once for a treasure, once for a plus one counter. And we're off to the races. Could already play Showdown next turn. Announcements plus a tap land is an option, or just go for Jetmir since we have a backup in case they kill it. Hope Nixel is gonna start draining us. Makes a devil first. My goons will make quick work. And yeah, we'll take two for now. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Okay, naturalist is nice. So you can go naturalist plus wedding announcements. Maybe wait on Jetmir. Until we can give the team trample right away. Seems reasonable. So naturalists make another treasure. And we can wait on announcements. Adlin wants to keep attacking. And greeters can pick up a plus one counter, maybe. Life is also reasonable when facing up Nixilis. Smelter can eat our 1 1 token. Or they can go for a double block on Adlin. Interestingly, if we go to the settings and uncheck auto sign combat damage, we can make sure not to kill the devil token so they can actually finish off Adlin, which is their plan with a double block. So just assign all the damage to Smelter, zero to the devil. Not a play that comes up very often, but 
I think it paid off here. And make another token end of turn. And now Jetmir is looking mighty fine as we get another two life with greeters. Nixilus deals two. Make that four. Pleasure doing business with you. Deadly dispute sacking the devil. Can take out a token on the way. Actually goes upstairs, or points on the burn plan. We'll see how that works out for them. Could still see a Metog Massacre for one, but then he would have dealt one damage to Naturalist. Another dispute. Triggers Anvil, making a 1-1. One -one. Okay, so time for Jetmir. Got six creatures, which means trample. And a plus one counter for now. Can I straight up kill my opponent? 14, 10... Yeah, I think so. So we can just go face and ignore Obnixilus. Get another attacking token going face. Opponent can jump. They could sack their treasure to Anvil to drain us for one. But that's not going to be enough here. Awesome. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a reasonable hand. Greeters into announcements with showdown for card advantage. Once red or green in play, we'll start with green. And then double white might be necessary in the future for cards like Adelon. Could also go for Naturalist, but I'm not in a hurry to play Showdown, so I think Greeters is still highest upside, making treasure of announcement on three. Put on black white with an eye twitch, so a sacrifice deck. Ooh, there's Adelon. So I don't actually hate playing Adelon and smashing. As we'll get to trigger Gala Greeters twice. Once for a plus one counter, once for a treasure. Opponent takes it. Adlin will require an answer while we still get to do some other sweet things. Opponent has Asper Colors, so sweepers are a potential concern. At least announcement drawing cards offsets that a little bit. So I could go Naturalist plus Announcements. Greeters probably wants to make treasure. In case there's a sweeper, just one more mana to make use of Showdown. Although I guess we can still put a counter on it here. So now I Twitch might jump. And might see a deadly dispute as well. Finding environmental sciences. Okay, so cards like Meetook Massacre should also be on our radar now. Play announcement, which will draw a card. And then Showdown can refuel after a board wipe. Opponent goes for sciences, so no sweeper this turn. Dogside Chef and Eye Twitch. Ooh, Rebel Rousing. That's an exciting draw. Especially if we can exile Jetmir with Hideaway. So let's go for it. Four mana thanks to Naturalists. And sadly, no Jetmir, but Showdown still very powerful. And we'll attack with a team. Probably no need for Tycoon before attacks. And we'll get to trigger Greeters all the way here. Play a free showdown. 
Adeline up to 11 power. And we should be able to outgrind most sweepers now with double showdown of the Skulls. Opponent falls to 9. Announcement's also going to draw end of turn, so we'll play our land tapped. No need to commit anything else to the board, and don't have the mana for another rousing. Sure. So which board wipe is it going to be? Meat Hook Massacre would gain them a ton of life, but they didn't have one last turn. And yeah, her opponent looks at showdown and concedes, so this was going to be an absolute massacre for us next turn, getting to play another Rabble Rousing alongside a bunch of Galag Reaters, maybe even hit Jetmere, which would have given the team Double Strike, Trample, Vigilance, and three additional powers, so would have been pretty sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a nice opening hand. We've got a combo of Greeters plus Package. Tycoon to maybe ramp it out early. And then showdown for card advantage, facing some sort of control deck, just guy. So Tycoon is probably dead, but so be it. Going Greeters into Adlin was also an option. If we got our Himeria's Call involved. Fading Hope to bounce. Could still play turn 3 Adlin, which may still be the play here over any of our 2 drops. Or we can go 2 drop plus tap land. Adlin is kind of a must answer. And that maybe distracts them. So we can get our other engines online. And that Fort Toughness maybe survives a few more burn spells. Prismari Command would have taken care of Greeters and Tycoon. Opponent discarding Galvanic Iteration. So, could also be a mill deck for all we know. Trying to copy Tasha's hideous laughter. It's going to be a big score. Could also be a Bombardment deck, Sunset Ravelry. Can make some tokens and draw. Okay, so... Could be a reasonable turn for Greeters and Tycoon. And then we get to trigger Greeters most of the way. If we temper mana properly. And I'll put a counter on it. Opponent chumps, keeps their author token around, which probably means there's no sweeper incoming, otherwise they would have blocked both. And yeah, I would love to untap with Gala Greeters, player stimulus package, another iteration, into inspiration, killing Greeters and Tycoon. It's too bad. Still have Adlin, and then we might go for Showdown next turn, because Stimulus Package on this board is not too exciting. Opponent learning for Environmental Sciences. Could see maybe a Mascot Exhibition too, or some card draw effect, and goes for Teachings. Wedding Announcements, not the uh, worst here. So how do we feel about maybe Stimulus Package plus Wedding Announcements? And then use some treasures from the package to play the Announcements. And then we can still pump up our Adlin by making one token if we want. And then Announcement will draw.
Naturalist, good combo with Showdown, helping us empty our hand and cast all our exiled spells in time. So we've got three cards in hand for teachings purposes. It's going to be another iteration out of the graveyard to copy environmental sciences. That's okay. So our opponent's picking up a couple lands, getting some life. But that's an unshacked Adlin in play now. Unless they've got another bounce spell. I'm okay to make another token. And then Naturalist into Showdown. See what we pick up. Negate. That's too bad. Can attack. At least announcement will draw. And then I think I hang on to Garden to cycle. Greeters will be awesome with our stimulus package. Assuming there's no board wipe. At least we're doing a good job of making this teachings useless. As we have only two cards in hand. Iteration. What's next? Unexpected windfall, that's scary. Opponent makes four mana, draws four cards. And they've got a full grip. One can hope no sweepers. Even a seismic wave would be quite effective, clearing all our 1-1 tokens. But no, our opponent explodes. Awesome. So they must not have found any interaction for Adlin. Awesome. So yeah, we got to see our Naya tokens deck in action. Now, would I recommend this as kind of a competitive ranked deck? Not necessarily. The deck can be a little clunky, especially when on the draw. We don't really have any interaction, so once we fall behind it's pretty difficult to catch back up, especially when facing large flying creatures like out of the Angels deck. So maybe not the most competitive deck, but certainly a ton of fun in a more casual setting, and uh, getting to go off with Ramble Rousing is incredibly satisfying. So yeah, that'll do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day! I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.